Now let's see if we can make it up a hill. today's episode we are going to be unboxing a new possible shuttlecraft for the bus or it may just be for use around neighborhoods we're just not sure yet uh, it depends on the bike itself the item itself I guess I just gave part of it away um, let's see if you can tell what it's going to be I know the box doesn't really give it away too much what do you think it's going to be going to be the Razor Rambler 16 who 36 volt I think it's only like a 12 amp or 13 amp so it doesn't have a whole lot of range I think the specs call for it as being like 15.5 miles per hour with 11 mile range Draw all that to the test but you got to charge it once you uh, get it out of the box so this will be basically a two-part video you're gonna have the unboxing part now and then you're gonna have the uh, charging and riding portion a little later. So let's get that video for you. Let's get all the people driving by. Let's get all that out of the way because they all come out every time I start shooting videos. Alrighty, um, we're going to be using a knife and a little tiny ratchet set to put this together. And hopefully that's all it'll take because my tools are on the other side of the state at the moment. I don't have access to them. This is all I got. So let's get the unboxing. UPS dropped us off literally 10 minutes ago. Had to go to, and it's about uh, four days too early. Not that I mind. It's a good thing. So this is what the inside of it's going to look like. Alright, here's what the inside of the box looks like. Looks like we got to put handlebars on, the little risers for the handlebars. I don't know what else. Everything looks pretty well packaged. I did get the beige model. They had a black version, but it was sold out at the moment, so I couldn't get it, and I kind of leaning towards this one anyways, but who knows, I may end up getting the black one. These were fairly cheap. I got this at about $540. Uh, shipping was already free. So I've heard people getting them for less, so people paying more, so I think I'm kind of okay on the price. Here's your seat. That over here for right now. All right, so you got to install the seat and the handlebars and risers. That's what it looks like. This is your charging charging stuff. Here's your risers. There and there. And instead of destructions, we'll get to those in a minute. In the bag comes these uh, Razor Rambler 16 electric scooter owner's manual. We'll delve, delve into that maybe. Hope people find that boring or not. We get a bag of lock nuts. I'm going to assume these are for the seat, because the seat has to be bolted on as well. As you can see, it's not on there, it came in a box. We have the handlebar risers. Okay, here's your handlebar risers. Handy dandy tools. So you get an Allen wrench and a little baby wrench. Assuming the Allen wrench is for the risers to mount the handlebars and the little wrench is for the seat. And here's your charging stuff. So your block goes into the wall, this goes into your bike. And uh, I don't know, it looks pretty pretty long. I may, may reach 
one of the complaints I was hearing all when I was researching this thing was that the charge cable was too short and you couldn't reach from the battery to any normal light socket or uh, plug-in socket looks like it's plenty long so I guess they remedied that looks like it's gonna be at least four foot long that should be enough Okay, took the handlebars out of their packaging. You got the throttle, you got a handbrake, it has a rear hub motor, 350 watt, and it also it's combined with a brake, drum brake. Nothing on the front, just bare. Uh, tires appear to be your, they're fully inflated. Here's your charging port, here's your on off button. Your battery and your controller are inside there. These. Sure, there's one on the other side as well, but let's get these handlebars on first so that we can more easily move the bike around. No suspension at all, Just straight up hard tail not even a front suspension does have a front headlight and a rear tail light so that's cool all right get these handlebars are All right, so again, these are the risers. There's two of them. Uh, we're gonna mount those to the to the base here, and then put the handlebars into that, and then clamp them closed inside the clamps. If you've ever put risers on, there's a flat side that goes against the frame, the plate here. And then there's a curved top side that faces up that's what you look down on so this faces up and this is down see what I'm seeing you have to put these in the right way cables have to run down the front unfortunately Let's see if you read that tag Before first use, charge the battery for at least 12 hours. Inflate tires for the correct DSI. Do not store below freezing. That could be a problem on the bus. It just depends on where we're going. The freezing temperature will permanently damage the battery. We really don't have that problem in this section of uh, my state. But sections up north around the perimeter of the state sometimes see freezing temperatures. All right, you just want to turn the power on and then the throttle takes a little bit to kick in. You get some uh, right when you take off, but then uh, the longer you hold the throttle, the more the engine kicks in. And the start button's down there on the bottom on top of the battery. Power on! You immediately have juice. Oh, it's not the whole handle. Just a, yeah, that little thumb, just like the e-bike. Comfortable, right? Comfortable for me. Yeah, you push off with a foot to get started, and then
This is awesome. Gotta get the wind resistance down. <laughs> <laughs> see the brake lights come on when it hits the brakes try the button on there and see if the headlight comes on yep <laughs> He's stunt riding, folks. He's stunt riding. Go ahead and turn the light off. Most fun ever in the history of all fun? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay? <laughs> it's good for a laugh? Yeah. <laughs> Go around the neighborhood and uh, do little trips on the neighborhood with it? I don't know. I can't read this gate very well. It's very not uh, intuitive as to whether I have battery power or not. Everybody complains about that gauge saying that it, it reads full no matter how much juice is in there until there's no more juice and then it reads empty. So, so that all basically, three lights are on right now. And that means it's supposed to be it's reading completely full, which right. it should be because we charged it for 24 hours. And then uh, we only just started riding it, so you probably barely got a mile on it between you and me so far. Yeah, but like our weight makes it like five miles. Definitely. So the weight, the weight factor is what would drain the battery faster. Yeah. But I doubt we've killed more than you know a tenth of the battery so far. Right. Now, should I turn it off before I hand it to you? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. I mean, probably as a safety precaution, they would want that. But yeah, I'm sure it's safety reasons. But we're Americans. Safety right. is blah. Safety is Safety's blah. If we were safe, we would have never saved Europe. We're right. safe, <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, guys. There you go. So it looks like the rear 
brake light flashes when you hit the brakes. I don't know if you can get that on the camera, but just saying that when you hit the brakes, the rear brake light flashes. Yeah. So it's like a like a. Pulse or don't steady? ignore me. Is it a pulse or a steady? Pulse. Come uh, hit up. Just go hold that up to the back and let's see for sure. That goes in feather and brake. No, nope, it's pulsing. Pulses, cool. Hold on. Let's see. Go ahead. Yeah, it's pulsing. Yeah. That's cool. This yeah. is very sturdy. It's incredibly sturdy. I stood up on the pegs and I'm like 400 pounds. And this thing is taking the turns pretty good. I mean, the throttle is nothing. To, you're not going to keep up with traffic, but I mean. For no, me, I mean, inside of a park like this, for, yeah. For our weight, it feels 15 miles an hour, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, yeah. So I think this thing is uh, pretty cool. There may be some over uh, overachieving going on here in the future where we put on a bigger battery and a bigger controller and see if we can get more of that 350 watt motor. But right now, as it is right now, this is perfectly fine. I would take this all around, you know, around town within a five mile radius of anywhere. So that's the grocery store, restaurant, whatever. I can feel comfortable doing that. Go down to the mailbox, you know, maybe take it on the bus. If I know where I'm going and it's a short distance from the bus, I would take this. It's just lighter than the e-bike and the mini bike. So this is pretty cool. I like this. So I know it's not built for people our size, but it handles it well. It's a cool little bike. All right. All right, I don't know how much you can see. We're at nighttime, it's about midnight. It's about 81 degrees, about the coolest it's gonna get. So we're gonna go out and take the uh, Razor Rambler 16 out for our night ride. That's the headlights for it. Can't tell if you can see anything or not. Let's go for a little ride. tried to do some uh, night riding and you'll see some footage of that playing I think as I'm talking here but this light here was horrible couldn't see anything even when the streets are lit up with uh, uh, what do you call them the overheads I mean you could you could visually see but that light threw off nothing and then when the streets were pitch black you still couldn't see nothing there was just nothing so we're gonna put on a different light we got this light that I was going to use for the mini bike the BT200X, and we're going to mount it onto this instead. And this is LEDs, this is something like uh, 20,000 lumens or something crazy like that. And it's battery operated rechargeable. It's from Acruno, Acruno, and we are going to mount that on and see if we make a difference. So, first off, we're going to take this weird sticker off, and then we're going to mount it right here, pointing outwards. And then we'll go for a night ride and see how it works. All right, so it is roughly, it's roughly uh, 9.30 or so. Not as late as last night, but we got the new light mounted. Let's see if you can see that. Let's uh, turn it on. Do some final adjusting. Okay, that's pretty bright. That's way brighter than last night. That's way brighter than the factory light that this thing comes with. So, let's turn this bad boy on. And let's go for a ride. Dad. 
definitely see where we're going now. It's also a little bit warmer than last night. Right now it's about 94 degrees out, so we'll see how this thing likes running in the heat. Way better than last night. Take some of these streets we took last night that we couldn't absolutely see nothing on. See what happens now. Remember this one last night? You could barely see a light. Now it's Completely bright, night and day difference. I wanna see what other settings this light has. Let's see what else it looks like. So that's a low beam, which is not bad, it's still pretty good, but high beam's a lot better to see by. That's another setting, I guess that's a mid beam. There's a strobe for emergencies. Off, and back to high beam again. I think high beam is default, then there's low, and then there's a medium to high, and then the blinker. But look at that, night and day difference. All right, let's go uh, drive a little. All these streets were dark last night. Remember on here I had to slow down because I remember seeing that white car in the driveway but you couldn't gauge where the turn was because it was so dark. You didn't know where you had to slow down and turn. Now. Look at that. Come on baby, about my fire. Okay, let's go into that park, that industrial park across the street where it was absolutely pitch black for most of the way. I don't think there's hardly any street lights over there. At least none that are working. Well, let's go see what we can see. Ah, this is so much better. This unit has an internal battery, so you charge it up, it takes about two to three hours to charge. And see what it looks like over there in the darkness. Hopefully this light doesn't take there we go, it's already changing. Nice. Yeah, that guy across the street there. He helped us uh, make it through. Otherwise, we'd still be sitting here waiting for a light to change.
All right, that's way better. Yes, sir, you can actually see things. Now the front of the light bar says hot warning. Uh, you know, printed on there. It's not like it's a flashing warning or anything. So I guess there's so many lumens, it's so bright that the LEDs will actually heat up the housing. So you got to be careful when you touch it. Look at that. Now it's, now it's actually fun to drive. You can see where you're going. Well, let's go see what's back here. I think there's a sports stadium. That's back here. An entrance to it, or one of the parking lots anyways. Let's come back here and see what's back here. This way. We're gonna have to get another one of these. I want to keep this light bar on this bike. And I think I'm gonna get one for the uh, mini bike again. And I might even get another one for the e-bike. Because if I remember correctly, neither of those lights were particularly the brightest in the world. But this is fantastic. Oh, there we go. Tempe Diablo Stadium. I knew it was over here somewhere, i just never been to it. I remember hearing the games playing and the fireworks going off and all the cheering and stuff. Oh, there we go. It's over here to the left. I think this is the part. Oh, there we go. It's a whole big... Let's just ride around the parking lot. It's not closed. So we can at least ride around the parking lot. Spring training for the Angels. Going up a slight grade and incline, so the Rambler is definitely struggling a little bit. So let's come down that in grade now and see how much. There we go. Oh yeah, Rambler likes that. I think we've exceeded the 15 miles an hour. That's for sure. Go back up there again, but I just want to get a picture of what the front of the stadium looks like. You guys can see that pretty cool now when I was a kid this would be like prime hangout spot all night long you'd get your cars and line them all up in here and everybody would be just hanging out and showing off their rigs and everything kind of cool I guess they don't really do that here too much anymore none that I've ever seen there are some car shows around we're gonna probably hit, hit that with this bike just so we can get some car shows on footage Use this as a, like a little pit bike. Let's struggle back up this incline again. Because I like to race back down and pick up some speed. Oh yeah, this really lights up the night here. This is a great light. Being assaulted by moths like crazy. Alrighty. Going back down. So you can pick up some speed. Yeah. Brake test. Not bad. Not bad. Ugh. Well, let's get over in the bike lane, so at least legal. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, we're definitely not breaking any land speed records, but this is a pretty nice cruise. I'd say every bit of, you know, 10 to 12 miles an hour at least. Not the full 15. I like how you can see debris in the road ahead of you, whereas with those other lights, couldn't see anything. Let's test that right now. So, this is what it looks like now with this light. Let's turn this bad boy off. That's a low beam, which is still not bad. It's pretty good. That's the, uh, the high beam again. That's the strobe. Now we're off. You can't even see that light. It is so dim. Literally. I don't know if you can see it. You can't even see my hand in front of the camera. It's, it's that dark. Okay, let's turn that pitiful thing off. I should leave it on, though, because it would leave the tail light on, which is horrible, but I'm using up extra battery by doing that. I may have to come up with a way to fix that so the light stays on in the back, or just get another light like this and put it in the back. That's a tail light version. Anyways, let's get this light back on. There we go. All right, well, let's go. This is so much nicer. Okay, we're gonna cut across traffic. Come down here and see what we shall see, which is a lot more than we saw last night. Things down to the end. I don't remember going down to the end here. I have. It's been a couple years. Let's see what it looks like down here. What are we dealing with? Were we on this road last night? You know, it was so damn dark I couldn't. I think we were on this road last night. Yes, I do. It was so dark I didn't even recognize it. And I remember that little turnoff right there with the with the double lanes. We almost went up it. We turned around and came back. There should be an axe throwing place around here somewhere. There it is right there. Advanced axes. Yeah, we're gonna go back this way. I know where this is. We're gonna go this way, we're gonna go up to the street that leads back to my home. My home. I say all in all we put about a mile, mile and a half on this thing maybe. We should barely, barely have any juice taken off of it. You feel the temperature starting to drop, so we're probably uh, 90, 89 or 90 right now. The seat is starting to hurt the bum a little bit. It's not the uh, Comfiest seat at the moment. I just just there we go. Adjusted it. Now we're now we're good. Okay. Make sure there's nobody coming. who's gonna wipe us out. Make sure this is not a severe bump. All right. Let's get back to the the fort. So I think what I'll do is I will get a tail light version of this LED, but red, and have it shine backwards when I'm riding at night and then I don't have to worry about people coming up behind me and not seeing me or running the battery down with these two pathetic lights that are on here. Well, let's turn them on now just to have them on. Uh, and if we have to sit at this light for too long, I think I'll do what I did last night. we we'll just hit the crosswalk and go against the walk sign. I don't want to be here all night waiting for that. Just gotta wait for a break in the traffic.
up there is a bunch of cops, so that's never a good thing. Hello. Alrighty, let's see what we shall see. Look at this. Look at this. This is great. Great, we can actually see stuff. Oh yeah, temperature is dropping. I learned corner better. It's getting rusty. Gotta take them corners a little better. 